start, we'll start our normal warm up. We're going to do a dynamic warm up and then we're just going to do a little bit on the foam roller for the back and activation of the abs. And then we're starting our workout after that with static activation of muscles. So I'm going to talk you through it as we go, rolling those shoulders. Very nice. Right, arms out to the side. Let's rotate the shoulders. Good job. I just realized I'm wearing my dark top with the dark window behind me. Sorry. <laughs> Most of today's session will be actually on the floor, so you'll be able to see me better. Good. And nice big circles with those arms. Loosening off the shoulders. That's it. All right. We're going to do a dynamic warm up. So grab your knee, putting it up to your chest and change three each side loosening up getting our balance senses working muscles joints nerves moving nice balance three each side alternating perfect and hand under your shin under your knee lifting up and change nice and change. You just hold it for a second and changing sides. One more each side. Lift. Whoopsie. Good. Right. Grabbing your foot behind you. Foot to your bottom. Make sure you tuck those hips under and stretch. Your knees stay together. So from the front you want your knees to try and be together if you can. Reaching up. And change. Keep that belly button pulled in, make sure you're not arching your back, squeeze those hips. Good, on this last one you can hold it here or we're going to reach forward. Find a spot to focus on for your balance. And coming up, very nice, other side. And reach. Lovely, alright. Crossing your right leg over your left, reaching down to the ground, relax your head, relax your arms. Coming up in the middle, opening up the chest, palms facing forward, and change legs. Nice, and change. Really relax your head, relax your arms, so you get the full benefit of that stretch. Changing sides. One more each side, open, and reach. Nice. Good, from here we're going to go into a wide lunge hands on the floor. So I've got my right leg in front, hands on the floor, and we're going to twist. So you're going to lift your arm up, that's it. Then hands on either side of your front foot, stretch that knee, bend it back down and change sides. Good, and stretch your leg in between. So each time, we're doing three each side, stay here. So we're still on the same side. We're doing three each side. You twist one way, hands on either side, stretch that knee. Good, we've got one more each side. Reach, look at your hand. Stretch that front leg. Last time. Stretch that front leg. Keep your legs straight. We're gonna walk our hands around to the other side. You're welcome to get to the other side however you want to. So now my left leg is in front and we twist. Hand on either side of your front leg then, stretch that leg, bend and twist the other side. Nice, we're going for three each side alternating. Ooh, that's tight. And stretch. Nice. Try and straighten that hamstring in between. Good, we've got one more. And stretching up. Stretch that leg. Last time. Stepping forward and let's curling up. One vertebra at a time. Awesome, you're gonna grab your foam roller. We're gonna place it on the floor. And you're gonna lie on it. So put your bottom on the one end and your head goes 
it down on the other end. So let's lie the full length of it. Nice. Okay, so this is such a good thing to do, even if you can do this at the end of every day for five to 10 minutes, just with your arms out to the side. But for today, we're gonna to put your hands up into the air, shoulders pulled away from your ears, now tilt that pelvis, roll the low back, squash it onto that roller, tummy pulled in, and we're going to lift one leg up, and then place it down, change legs, breathing out as you lift, tummy pulled in, so you try and balance, if it's too difficult to balance, you can keep your hands out to the side, just off the floor, breathing out as you lift, so for this to work, you've really got to think of Pulling those tummy muscles in. So your low pelvic floor, like scooping those abs in. Tummy in and breathing out to lift. We're going for two more each side. That's it. This really activates that core. Breathing out. That's good. Tummy pulled in. Squash that back on the floor. Often one leg is harder than the other and that just shows an imbalance in those tummy muscles. Nice work. One more. On each leg, ooh, I lost my balance, tummy pulled in, very nice. Now place your hands on the floor, once you've done your 10, put your hands on the floor next to you, you can be a little bit wider, palms facing down, and you're going to lift your legs up into tabletop on the roller, hands stay on the floor, tummy pulled in. We're going to go into our single leg stretch, so you straighten one leg, and then change, breathing out. Tummy pulled in. That's it. Make sure your low back stays glued to that roller. Swapping sides. Beautiful. Let's go for five. Four. Tummy pulled in. Three. Two. One. Great job. Lifting those legs up straight into the air. It's fine if your knees are a little bit bent. We're going to drop one leg down. Pulling it back up. Tummy has to stay very tight and connected to make sure you don't roll off the roller. Breathing out, tummy in. Beautiful job, well done. Let's go for five. As you lower that leg, make sure you're not arching your back. Three, tummy pulled in. Two, one. Place your feet on the floor. Beautiful. We're going to come up, roll yourself all the way up. And let's place the foam roller out the way. Nice. That was just a little activation. Today is all about activating the right muscles. So now we're going to go into 30 second hold. I know it's difficult. You don't have a wall. So we're going to drop down and hold a squat for 30 seconds. We're going to do a side plank, side plank, 30 seconds. Glute lift and abs, but I'll talk you through it. So we're going to go for 30 seconds. You're going to drop down into a squat. Let's go. Tummy pulled in, weight back through your heels. We're going to hold it. That's it. Keep squeezing. Dropping down a little bit lower. In this position, my knees are facing forward. My weight is back through my heels. That's halfway. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in, keep, keep low, that's really nice. For three, two, one, very nice. Coming down onto the floor, we're going to go into a side plank. Whichever side you want, we're doing both. You're going to have your top leg in front, bottom leg underneath, and we're going to lift up. Let's go. Lifting up and hold, side plank. Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder. Lifting up those hips, beautiful. If your elbow is too far out, walk your feet a little bit closer to your hand. 15 seconds. <sighs> Tummy pulled in, lifting up the hips. Five, three, two, one. Dropping down, let's go to the other side. Sometimes by holding, so holding statically just gets that fatigue muscles which try and get, build up the resistance, the endurance. Right, 
Elbow directly under your shoulder. Make sure it's not too far out. Top leg in front, bottom leg underneath. Let's go, lifting up. We're gonna go through this twice. Tummy pull in, lift up the hips. Breathing out. That's halfway. After this, we're gonna lie on your back. Tummy pulled in, 15, 10 seconds. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your tummy for three, two, one. Lying on your back. Nice. Now from here, you're gonna put your knees bent, feet on the floor, you're gonna lift up your right leg. And we're gonna lift up your hips Push your elbows into the floor. So bend your elbows, your arms. Elbows are digging into the floor. Hands up to the ceiling. So watch where, my, this is where my arms are, Felix. So dig your elbows into the floor, but your fingers are up to the ceiling. And let's go, lift. So now I want you to push through that left heel on the ground. Push through those elbows. We're gonna hold it, tummy pulled in. Push through your heel, make sure you're digging those elbows into the floor. Beautiful, squeeze that left bum cheek. We got 15 seconds, keep that hold. Lift, push those elbows in as hard as you can. <sighs> Tummy in. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Coming down, very nice. We're gonna go back to the other side, but abs, lift your head, hands behind your head. Lift your head and shoulders. You're gonna go into an oblique twist, we're gonna hold it. We're gonna statically hold. So my left leg is up, my right leg is bent, and I'm twisting to my right side. Let's go. So keep that twist. Lift your other leg off the floor, and twist, squeeze. Felix, that's it. There we go, okay, let's hold it from here. You're gonna hold that twist. Keep trying to get your shoulder towards your knee. Twist, squeeze, head and shoulders up. 15 seconds. Keep that static hold, squeeze even more. Try and get your shoulder towards your opposite knee. Three, two, one, lying down, very nice. Right leg stays on the floor, left leg up to the ceiling. Elbows squeezing into the floor. Let's lift and hold, breathing out to lift. So now we're doing the other leg. Push through this leg. Your heel is pushing into the floor. Your elbows are pushing into the floor, hard as you can. Tummy pulled in, squeeze and lift. Push that heel down. Beautiful, squeeze. Tummy pulled in. Five, three, two, one, and dropping it down. Keep this left leg bent. Now lift up your right leg. Hands behind your head. We're gonna twist to the left knee now. So from here, let's twist. You wanna keep that twist. So really think of twisting your shoulder to your knee. Tummy pulled in, back is glued to the floor. 15 seconds, twist even more. Beautiful. This leg must be nice and straight. Five, three, two, one, and relax it down. Very nice. Come and lie on your side facing the camera. We're only gonna do that once because it actually takes quite a lot of time. Right, so from here, we're gonna stay on our side. We're gonna go into our side tricep push-up. So wrap your underneath arm around your rib cage. Top hand on the floor. We're gonna alternate with a hip abduction. So we're gonna push up for one. Then we're gonna lift that leg up. We're gonna go 15 times. Pull that belly button in, shoulders away from your ears. Let's go, we push up. Straighten your elbow. And down, nice, tummy in, lift the leg. Good. So it's like a little seesaw. We're alternating. Breathe out as you lift, tummy in, squeeze. Beautiful. 
lifting up. That's it, we've got 10 more. Keep your head in line with your spine, pushing that elbow up. You wanna make sure that you straighten and squeeze your tricep. Tummy pulled in, lift the leg. Nice, and lift, we've got seven. Straighten up. All this time, I'm still pulling my abs in. You keep that connection in the tummy. You wanna make sure you're keeping your pelvis and your body steady. We've got four more. Tummy pulled in. Three. Squeeze and lift. Suddenly these last few I can feel. Two more. That's it. Make sure that you go all the way up straight. Last one. Very nice. Take your underneath arm and you're gonna come up onto your elbow. So my underneath arm is now on my elbow. Other hand behind your head. You're going to roll slightly back. We're going to tuck those knees in and out. So you come up onto that underneath elbow, hand behind head, roll back a little bit onto that underneath glute. We're going to go pretend. Crunch. Breathe out as you put it in. Very nice. Tummy pull in. And squeeze. Use your obliques for five. Four. Three. Nice work. One, beautiful, lying on your back before we go to the other side. Legs up in tabletop. Really roll that the pelvis under. So tuck that pelvis up. Low back glued to the floor. Hands either up or by your side. And we're gonna go into our leg swaps. So each time you lower that leg down, you wanna think of tilting that pelvis. You really want to fight the urge to arch that back. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Five. Four. Breathing out as you change. Three. Really lifting in those abs. Two. One more each side. Very nice. Curling up. We're going to change sides. We're going to do our tricep hip abduction. So lying flat, other side. Wrapping the hand around the ribs, other hand on the floor, we're gonna do our tricep and then hip abduction. Let's go, 15, tummy pulled in, squeeze the bottom. Straightening that elbow, and down and lift. If you can, try and push up all the way. Squeeze, there we go. Tummy pulled in, lift. All the way up, that's it. Tummy's connected the whole time, so you're thinking of lifting that pelvic floor. Scooping in those abs. Good job, we're going for 15. This is seven. All the way, controlling it. Squeeze that elbow, lift the leg. When you lift the leg, you're literally lifting from the hip. You're not moving the waist, tummy's pulled in, squeeze. So we're working our outside here. Nice work, four more. And lift. Three. Straighten that elbow all the way. Make sure this arm goes straight. You wanna squeeze that tricep. Last one. That's it. Very nice, coming up onto your underneath elbow. Hand behind your head, roll slightly back. We're gonna do our knee crunches in. That's it, so roll back a little bit. Let's go for 10. Nine, tummy pulled in. Breathe out to bring your knees in. Seven, six, five, nice work, four, Two, one, very nice. Right, coming up into a plank position. We're gonna do inner plank, taking your bottom to your heels, and then we're going into push-ups. So, hands directly under your shoulders. Make sure your back is straight. Pull those shoulder blades away from your ears. We're gonna step back. 
into a plank. Feet wide, you're going to take your bottom back towards your heels, come back into a plank. We're going for 10, let's go. Tummy pulled in, squeeze the bottom. As you come to here, squeeze your bottom, tummy pulled in. Nice. All the way, shoulders slide down your back, tummy in, four, five. Four, breathing out. Three. Two, nearly there. And one. Awesome job. We're gonna go into push-ups, rest your wrists. Push-ups, you can put your hands wherever you want. We're going for 10. So if you want your hands wider, that's perfect. We're not doing Pilates push-ups, just straight old push-ups. So hands nice wherever you want them. Let's step back. 10 push-ups. Let's go. In three, two, come into a push-up position. One, let's go. Push-ups. Let's go, Felix. One, two, Three, we're going for ten. Four, back stays flat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Coming back into child's pose, have a little rest. Very nice. You're going to come and lie on your stomach. I'm just going to show you in this position, but you're going to lie flat on your stomach. We're going to do our skydiver. So in a flat position, tilting in, your arms are going to be here. You're going to reach your arms up and squeeze the elbows to your side, lying on your stomach, lifting up just your chest. So in this position, legs wide, but I want you to roll your heels towards each other. You're going to tilt your pelvis, so you're squeezing your bottom. Your hip bones come off the floor because your tummy's pulling in. Forehead on the floor, hands by your side. Now keep that bottom squeezed. You're going to lift your chest up, your head and your hands, five centimeters off the ground, but don't arch your back. Keep tilted. And we're going to take the arms up and squeeze them down. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. As soon as you feel your back arch, like that, you want to squeeze your tummy in. Lifting up just a little bit from your chest. Squeeze those shoulders down. Let's go for five. Four. Tummy pulled in. Make sure you tilt and tilting. I can't speak. Pelvis in. Three. Two. One. Come and push up. Very nice. Come and lie on your back. Let's go into some more abs. Lying on your back. Rolling back. Legs up in tabletop. Hands by your side or under your head. We're nearly done. We're going to go into our single leg stretch. So keep your head down for now. Tilt that tailbone. Low back glued to the floor. We're going to stretch. Breathing out to change. Now you must keep your low back to the floor. If you feel that you drop that leg down and your back starts to arch, lift the leg up. Make sure you glue your low back to the floor. Let's go for 10, nine, breathing out to change. Eight, seven, beautiful. Six, five, four, tummy pulled in. Three, two, keep thinking of lifting that tailbone. One, bend the legs, keep your legs in. From here, you're gonna curl the legs in and tap them down. Have your hands by the side. So you're gonna curl those hips in. And if you can, tap your feet down without arching your back. Let's go for 10. Nine, so when you lower your feet down, really fight the urge to arch your back. Eight, little hip lift, seven. I'm not doing the hip curl too much. My back's a little tender still. Much better. Breathing out. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for five. Four. Three. 
little lift two make sure you're not arching your back that's good one very nice right we're gonna finish off with a plank so coming onto your stomach we're gonna clasp your hands make sure you start off with your nose in front of your hands so set yourself up here check where your nose is shoulders away from your spine let's step one leg back and the other leg to join us let's go we're going to hold our plank for 45 seconds tummy pulled in back nice and flat you don't want to be up here that's perfect shoulders down tummy pulled in I want you to squeeze your bottom the whole time when you squeeze your bottom your tummy pulls in so make sure you're connecting those glutes don't arch your back tucking your pelvis under that's 30 seconds 15 to go squeeze shoulders down beautiful five three two one and relax very nice stretching it back have a nice stretch into that child's pose pushing back beautiful come lie on your back well done let's go into a little stretch you're going to take your left leg cross it over your right knee and we're going to pull those knees down to the right side so I've got my left leg crossed over my right leg and gently pull it down you can keep looking up to the ceiling for this use your hand if you need to that's it so I've got that's it perfect and coming back up to the middle let's change sides right leg over left and taking it down to the other side nice and gently and breathe out making sure you're getting the most of that range by breathing out beautiful lovely lying on your back hug those knees into your chest rock side to side good rolling up and come onto your hands and knees so from here you're going to take your left hand slide it through between your leg and your hand and you're going to go onto your shoulder blade and your head from there when you're in this position i want you to take this hand that's on the floor out further take it further away and push back into it so push it into the floor and then you get a lovely stretch here that's it so take that other hand further pushing back nice coming up nice and slowly let's go to the other side so this hand slides through shoulder blade and head now take this other hand put it a little bit further out and push yourself back very nice coming back up on your hands and knees let's go up into a downward dog lifting those knees straightening them up breathing here getting a nice stretch in those hamstrings chest between your shoulders now walk your hands slowly towards your feet soften the knees and let's do a very slow roll up curling up one vertebra at a time nice all the way slide those shoulders down and back lift your head awesome job well done thank you felix have a great day